Hello and welcome. Today we're going to take a look at a new lead code problem 283 move zeros. Given an integer array nums, move all zeros to the end of it by maintaining the relative order of the non-zero elements. Note that you must do this in place without making making a copy of the array. And then we have here an example 0, 01 0, 3, 12. We have 1 3 12 0 0. And if we just have a single zero, we output a single zero. And we have some constraints. <coughs> Notice that there's a follow-up question. Could you minimize the total number of operations done? So first of all, let's consider how we would do this with a separate array, so not in place, because that's the easiest, right? So that's kind of the naive solution for this problem. So let's create a temporary. result array and we're going to push here all the elements that we want so this is quite easy right so we iterate for the numbers and <clears throat> we check if our number is not zero then we push it to our array right okay and while is less the rest size is less than num size, it means we still have zeros to push. Okay. Oh, small problem there. And sorry, I forgot to update. We have to update the original array. Yeah, now it's accepted. Okay, so that's the naive solution for this problem <coughs> using a temporary uh, vector of int, but that is, of course, in terms of space complexity, that, that's O n. And we want to do better, we want to get to our a one space complexity. So how do we accomplish this? Well, if we think about the last non-zero index, we don't need a separate array. We can compute this in place. So if the number is non-zero, We write at the last non zero index plus plus the current nums of i. So we always write all the non, non zero indices, we write them in, in nums in subsequent positions. And then we simply check again for we iterate through the rest of the array. And we say nums of i equals zero, right? Because we want to populate the rest. Populate remaining zeros. Last non-zero index. There we go. We're hundred percent. Okay, so now we are at O of one space complexity and O of n time complexity. Can we do better? Well, not in terms of complexity, but can we minimize the total number of operations done? And it turns out we can. So to see this, let's go to the drawing. Here we have the same example with the last non-zero index uh, called IDX. And notice that it's set to the first position, zero. So then we check, is the nums of i different to zero? No, it isn't. So then we go to the next position. Go to position one. And we check, is one different than zero? Yes, it is. So we swap. 
we swap 0 and 1 and they're going to be 1 and 0 and then we increment our index and then we check the next position is it different than 0? well no so then we check the next position is the other one different from 0? yes it is so we swap the index position, the last non-zero index, with 3. So we swap 0 and 3. And have 3 and 0. And we advance our index. And then we advance to the last position and we check is 12 different from 0? Well, yes, it is. So swap 12 and 0. Twelve and 0. And move the index to the next position. And we're done. Okay, so notice this is a simple O n the time complexity and O one space complexity solution, and we minimize the operations because we do not need to populate the zeros at the end. We simply need to swap the last non-zero index <coughs> with the current position. So if we go to the code, let's remove this. And instead of saying that it's equal to numbers of i, we're going to swap the last non zero index with numbers of i. And it's accepted, so time complexity again is going to be O of n for iterating through the numbers array. And space complexity is going to be O1 since the array is modified in place. You can also check what it says here, but it should be the same. O of n, time complexity, and O of 1 space complexity. So there you go. I hope this explanation helps with this problem. I hope it helps you understand it better. And like and subscribe if you did. And stay tuned for more C++ problems. Thank you and bye.